About 10% of injuries to children younger than 12 months that require hospital treatment are caused by baby furniture. Whether you buy a new bassinet and cot for your nursery, purchase secondhand ones or are given hand-me-downs from friends or relatives, it's essential that you make sure these items of furniture are safe for your precious little one. All cots sold in Australia, whether they are new or second-hand, must comply with Australian safety standards. If you've bought a new cot, it must have a label attached that confirms it meets these standards. If you've bought or been given a second-hand cot, you need to check that it complies with the regulations and you must not use a cot if it does not meet this standard. Some of the safety requirements are that the cot is deep enough to prevent your child from falling out, with a minimum of 60 centimeters from the base of the mattress in the lower base position. The mattress fits snugly around all sides with a maximum of a 2cm gap on each side when the mattress is centred. The spacing between the bars is between 5cm and 9.5cm, which is narrow enough to prevent your baby's head from getting through or getting stuck. Make sure that there are no small openings where limbs or fingers could get caught and that there are no footholds that a baby could use to climb out. Also be on the lookout that there are no sharp edges or protruding parts. Additionally, cot bumpers and soft bedding have been associated with fatal sleep accidents and should not be used. Bassinets are usually used just for the first few months, before babies become active, after which time it is safer for them to sleep in a cot. Additionally, the ACCC states that bassinets should not accidentally fold during use if they have folding legs and they should not be used with pillows or folded quilts as these items can cause suffocation. It is also recommended that curtains and blinds with cords are best avoided, as dangling cords can be a cause of strangulation. If you cannot avoid them, make sure they are tied up well out of baby's reach. Always close drawers of storage units and make sure that wardrobes and bookshelves are secured to the walls to prevent the risk of furniture from falling over on your child. Change tables are notorious for causing injuries to children and you should never leave your child alone on the table. If you need to look away from them for a moment to pick something up, keep a hand on your child. It is amazing how quickly they can wriggle out of position. If you have a super wriggly baby, you may even want to use a changing mat on the floor to take away any risk of falling. 